wrap my head around it because we had been talking about it for a while. And then like after the fact, when we, you know, when I just kind of looking at her and just thinking like, you whore, you oh. cheated on me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Pillow Time! <laughs> Same, but welcome to the show, babies. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to your favorite podcast. This is Pillow Talk. I'm your host, Ryan Pownell, presented by Sin Party, number one company in the world. We love Sin Party. We love No Jumper. They're the two best companies in the world. Sin Party is the number one adult company you've ever seen in your life. The number one camming website, the number one exclusive content website, and we have a casino, Sin Palace, your boy partner with them. $5 free credit if you click the link below. We double your first deposit. Okay, now. This is the most relevant, important interview in Pillow Talk history. The two most Googled faces <laughs> on the planet and Pornhub searched faces on the planet. From No Jumper, from Plug Talk, from the number one selling video in OnlyFans history. This is Adam22 and Lena the Plug. It's Lena. Hi, guys. <laughs> I fucking told you. <laughs> no, I said it. I said Lena and she said it's Lena, Ryan. <laughs> Lena would have two ends. No, it's I'm okay. Bad. It's Don't okay. Blame. Don't blame me. I'm blaming you. Okay. I've done your podcast before. You should know my fucking name. That's why I was saying it right. She said it's Lena. It's Lena. I said, is it? I said, are you sure? Is it Lena or is it Lena? You it's said okay. you said Lena, Lena has one end, two ends. That's what you said. It's okay. I, for, I, I forgive you. This is why I don't correct people. I told you. <laughs> That's what everyone says, and then it's like a five minute. Convo. I've been saying Lena. Okay. He, he yes. Has been Adam? Adam. 22. Yes. Okay. That's how you pronounce 22, yeah. <laughs> so, guys, busy couple weeks. That's yeah. real. It has been a couple of weeks. A lot of chaos. You guys just taking Adderall to deal with your stressful lives? Or is it, do you guys sit back and chill? Um, it's a lot. Not, no Adderall. I don't think it's that stressful. I mean, you know. It's kind of fun. It's yeah. interviews. But we don't take Adderall. It's memes. It's responding. It's podcasts. Yeah. I mean, we feel relatively normal, wouldn't you say? feel that normal i feel like it's been kind of crazy there's been a lot to do we've been going on a lot of podcasts for sure mm. um but besides that yeah i guess our lives i would are almost say we haven't been on any podcast besides aiden ross's live stream oh yeah that count that to me counts i've yeah. I did your podcast i got on to be yeah. on no jumper you guys it was so you finally cool. got our own interview <laughs> wow. well my second one that's all you had to do years. Yeah, fuck How another, fuck never, another guy. And you then... never brought baby girl on? Well, we started like seeing each other and I just told her like, yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm not, not ever going to interview you. That no, he said that to I, me. I was just wow. like, you know, I don't want to interview the person that I'm dating. Like, it is that, weird because she, she supposedly he should know like everything about me. Right. So like if he was to interview me, then it's like faking all the questions. You yeah, know, no, that makes sense. She got mad at me the other day for not knowing her shoe size. It was it was yesterday. He texted five, me five and a half. What? Oh. What is it she says? Five and a half. I'm That's like a child's shoe Yeah, no, <laughs> no grown woman is five and a half. I'm pretty sure, right? Eight, baby. Eight. 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 Eight's I'm more with you, Adam. human. I'm yeah. with you. When in doubt, guess eight. I feel you like that's the been average. together like a couple months. Yeah, you got seven years. And yeah. he doesn't know my shoe size, but it's okay. We're not going to talk about that because I really got mad. Oh. Okay, so does that mean you guys have been beefing a lot lately? Since no, it no happened? that's like our only that fight that we've The biggest fight we've had through this whole thing. The yeah. shoe size. <laughs> yeah. Because every couple fights, I feel like you guys don't, to be honest. That much. But has yeah. there been more or less fighting since the... Uh, I would say no fighting. Scene. Yeah, no, I feel no, like we no. got a lot of our fighting out of the way in the beginning. And then now it's like we kind of just learn about... Do we know about each other enough to know how to move around each yeah, other? Yeah, we didn't really fight about it. We might have had a couple of, uh, you know, impassioned discussions about it. But, you know, mm -hmm. we I think at this point in our relationship, for the most part, we're able to just kind of talk through our emotions when yeah. we have problems and we're definitely not like yelling she's never thrown anything across the room at me anything like that like our, our oh the other night he said he would only read harry <laughs> potter if the internet broke forever yeah i said and i, I got i started crying and i turned over and i went to bed by so myself you guys are fighting about shoe size harry potter not yeah, about yeah, yeah. this is the kind of things we fight about <laughs> i said i would read the harry potter books if the internet was erased and if there were no other books available on earth which to be fair it's that so is kind of my standard rude. no i've seen the first movie three times Doesn't i count. don't like it we're gonna, <laughs> this is this is the thing we fight about this is the hill i will die on you need to read the fucking books anyway you gotta read the books adam really yeah. you've read them <laughs> no <laughs> <sighs> okay. i have less than zero interest if i learn how to play poker will you read them if you devote like how long is it going to take me to read the first book like 20 hours if no. you devote 20 hours to studying poker okay sure that sounds fair 
You see, this isn't what people think you're fighting about. And it's nice this to is, see. This is what Normal we're fighting about. good couple. <laughs> fighting about the good old HP. Yeah. Good guy. Yeah. Okay, so Adam, I'm a little torn by you, to be honest. I've been going on things and saying, Adam genius, planned this whole thing, knew it was going to blow up, millions of dollars. He doesn't give a shit. He's in porn. He's fucked 250 girls. I like that narrative, and I like the simplicity of it, and I think we should stick with that, and I wish I had just been saying that from the very beginning. Like, <laughs> Not I'm his a idea. genius. I, yeah, I got I you. thought this whole thing up. I knew exactly how it was yeah. going to go, yeah. But I don't know if I'm even... I'm just saying that I have your back, but I don't even know if I'm speaking the truth. Right. Um, it, it had been a conversation that we had been having for a while. In retrospect, I almost feel like an idiot because I didn't know how viral it would be, which... In retrospect, I'm like, oh, yeah, how did you not know that it was going to be that crazy? I did not. Like, I wanted to do it. We planned to do it. And then I was like, babe, my biggest fear is that I'm going to do this and no one's going to care. Mm. And it's going to flop. And now wow. when I think about that, like, I, that was a true fear that I yeah, had. Yeah, because your first reel you posted wasn't even planned. It was just like, look who I'm shooting with. Big deal. Yeah, I was just like, oh, I want to do this. Like, I want to take a selfie with him. And then obviously that yeah, ended up becoming a meme. I can tell meme. that wasn't part of the marketing Campaign. Well, before I went to meet up with him, I, I did have like certain things in my mind, like, oh, I'm going to do this and do this. And I want to just like get a selfie for the story. Like it wasn't like a big thought out right. thing, but I really thought like, what if no one cares? Oh. What if I like pay this filmer, pay for the location and then it doesn't do that well? We did have that conversation. Yeah. So we definitely did not 100 percent understand how big it was going to be. Yeah. So everyone's asked you every question, but no one's asked you what the day was like for both of you. So the morning of what was the chemistry, the talks? The during for Adam 22. I was playing poker in the back house, which is kind of my happy place. Like if I could be doing anything on earth besides hanging out with my lovely wife and family, it would be pretty much playing high stakes poker tournaments on the internet. So I was doing that. And as a result, I really wasn't worried about it at all. Uh, like earlier in the day, I don't know, we were hanging out normal stuff. I basically woke up and left and we didn't really talk about it, you know, at all. You were like busy on, on the computer. So you're like, bye. Um, I, was, really? I was super nervous, yeah. but oh. yeah. I thought you would have had like the, you know, when you go over the Velociraptor, and oh. <laughs> you know that feeling? Yeah, <laughs> I actually had like a lot of stomach problems. But you, you were, okay, for me, it would have been me. No, oh. I was chilling. I had already like wrapped my head around it because we had been talking about it for a while. And then like after the fact, when we, you know, when I just kind of looking at her and just thinking like you. Or you oh. cheated on me. No, I mean. No, yeah, I came home and I was so tired and I was laying in bed watching a movie at like 6 p.m., which See, I would you never do. Th that's not cool. And he to walks in tired. and he's like, you're tired, huh? And I was like, oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> like eating food in bed, watching TV at 6 p.m. is not what I do. And oh, that's yeah, what I no, was doing. No, that, that hurts. Yeah. yeah. That's no. what hurts. But I mean, I was I was chilling. I mean, we, we had conversations about it after that. You know, I felt a little tinge of buyer's remorse like oh was this a good idea you know it feels kind of weird but i mean we've shot so much porn right that it's just kind of it just feels like business it just kind of feels like oh we're just going to work you know because this, yeah. this is how i view it, it we, we're gonna role play here baby can you come here and mm -hmm. uh you're gonna act as lena remember the message i sent you yeah <laughs> this is how <laughs> i view it and this is for the people to see the perspective okay maybe just come right over here yeah, I'm Adam 22, and she's Land of the Plug. I'm oh. objectifying your girlfriend right yeah. now. She's so hot. I'm just she's so at hot. She, yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe just oh, right here. Yeah. Okay. Go okay. ahead. Hi, Adam. It's Hi. me, Lena. <laughs> All right. I have a deal for you, okay? Yeah. You can fuck 250 girls of your choice <laughs> with me and sell the tapes for millions of dollars. Right. After we fuck those 250 girls, I get to fuck one guy. One. But we make millions of dollars off of it, and it blows up both of our brands. Yes. You're in? Yes. That's how I view it. I made a deal with the devil. Fair fucking trade. <laughs> That's not how most of the comments view it, but yeah. yeah most know. of the comments Keep are talking. like, you can't put a price on that, which I feel like they're lying to themselves. That's but so crazy. Oh my God, there's such a price. I know so many girls <laughs> selling pussy for like 300 bucks. Like, yeah. you know. Yeah. All these guys dating strippers, we all know what strippers do outside. Yeah. 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 Oh, my girl's a stripper. She makes the bag. She fucks every night. <laughs> No one comments on that. Yeah. Huh. I don't know. Do they? Are all the strippers I don't, I don't know. I've I heard mean... every stripper has pay to play. Really? I've been... That's what I've heard. Damn, I wasted a lot of money throughout my life getting lap dances from girls I never ended up banging them. <laughs> the over-the-pants rub. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. I've banged some strippers, but yeah. That's okay. It's a yeah, transition. I don't care. You know? Yeah, I mean, you know, you want to go do your thing? You want to get one over on me, babe? Pick I'm going a girl? to the strip club and bang a girl off camera? 
Yeah, whatever. That See, seems... that would be cheating. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about cheating. Where we where we talk about cheating. So, uh, Kazumi's very passionate and always says a about lot of cheating. Stars, yes. <laughs> <laughs> she always says we don't cream pie on camera. Mm. Mm. Cream pies are cheating. Sex isn't. It's work. But cream pies are cheating. That's like her rule in her relationship. Right. So I feel every relationship has their own rules. Okay. Uh, do you agree that that you know that last thirty seconds was? bit much honestly we didn't have the cream pie conversation we had the coming on your face conversation we didn't have the cream pie conversation okay. so i think you know a little little miss here kind of figured that that would be the the safer option and I loophole mean, yeah and i mean i didn't really i didn't really think much of it just like honest, in the yeah. moment thing and then afterwards i was kind of like oh shit that's gonna be controversial yeah you know and i i texted him and i was just like hey you're probably not gonna like this but this is what happened at the end of the day, I had kind of like steeled myself to the whole experience. So it didn't really, I mean, that's the thing is like, I think a lot of people would have maybe if you looked like you hated it and you looked like you weren't having fun and you looked like you weren't getting into it, then people would have maybe felt like, oh, okay. Like that's the kind of porn that a married woman is supposed to do. But in reality, it's like, if she was going to do it again, she would probably look even more like she enjoyed it you know that's kind of the point of doing porn is to like look as if you're really into it so i don't know i i I don't think you can really bang her for or you can bang her but well i can bang her (laughs) but i don't think you can blame her for like you know getting super into it like i mean that's what you're supposed to do or at least you're supposed to look like you're into it on the porn set right to be honest i've watched plug talk a thousand times Mm. plug talk guy Subscriber, sick. Best wow. nineteen ninety nine a month I've ever spent Ooh. for research purposes. Maybe <laughs> mm, five dollars a month if you for the first month. Right, right. Great deal. He doesn't remember that. He's they been they on hook for a you while. in. Oh yeah. I said take the. I tipped fifteen. <gasps> <laughs> Thank you. But you watched both. Is that what you're saying? Right. So I, I, I've seen both. Okay. Both of your work. Congrats on Plug Talk, by the way. Thank you. Thank the you. only other sex show we like. Hey. Everyone else copycats either us or them. Are there other ones? Oh yeah. But okay. <laughs> You are very much having fun on Plug Talk. Yeah. You're happy, you're smiling, and you're doing, shaking their booties, and you're yeah. cracking jokes even sometimes. I love but the ladies. You kind of, I've been on porn sets, and I, I know when a girl's into the sex, and when she's there for the paycheck, mm-hmm. look like a paycheck fuck to me, to be honest, with Jason. Oh, you think so? Yeah. It, it looked like you were just like, I've seen I you. I have to disagree. I've seen you with hobbies. I was so nervous that I felt like, it was for me, I could see it in my face and like it was painful at, at points, which I feel like people, <laughs> Stop. people, Stop people it. noted. Yeah, but yeah. like, you know, I had to like push through the first 10 minutes or so. Like, OK, you can do this. I took a lot of breaks. You say things to torture. This no, man. I'm not. No. I'm just like I'm just saying to say like I had fun that day, but there were things like I. I wish I knew it was going to be this big so that maybe I would have like prepared a little more in advance. I don't know. Just to make it better. But if you think it looked like a paycheck fuck, that's like that's bad on my part. No, yeah. no, no. It was great. Great production, by the way. It was like poor K. It was like Brazzers. And that's the opposite of what I've been reading in the comments with people saying like, this was not a porno. She loved it. She was having the time of their life, which is kind of weird to me because it's like, if anything, that's just them saying like, oh, she's good at her job or she had a good time, which like, I didn't want her to go and have an awful time right. because that would like justify me as your husband. Or I whatever. love watching him have a good time on Plug Talk. I good can point. tell when he's enjoying it more than the average Plug Talk. And I'm like, oh yeah, right. this is a good one. You know? Actually, when you were here last, we, we were talking about that. Like, yeah. Sometimes Adam, a girl's giving him the extra deep throat and he makes that extra mm, yeah. noise. And you said it turns you on. Yeah, I like it. I'm like happy for him to, that someone can give him what I maybe can't give him. I don't know if you guys have uh, threesomes, but there's definitely something about putting your dick in another girl and coming a little too fast in front of your wife that'll have you wondering like oh my god are we gonna survive this like that's just like i I look at you and i'm like oh my god like i I can't hide the fact that like clearly i enjoyed that a little too much if i came too quick right i think but i think it's always said that to you maybe you would kill me (laughs) it's always the situation where me and the girl look at each other and we're like fuck yeah he we're so hot that he can't even hold it together it's the best okay how about we play a quick game can you guys both text me without showing each other's phones who Adams enjoyed the most? Who you think and, and who Ooh, you think? Ooh, there's like, I can think of five girls off the top of my head right now. Maybe recently? Maybe the most recent. Yeah, mm-hmm. maybe in the last like few months. Because mm. I want to see if you can, you know, tell or if you hide it. 
I, I mean, there's like two girls who come to mind for me that I came a little too fast. And like with one of them, you like her a lot. And one of them, you do not like her a lot. So I certainly oh, will not I be saying her name. I don't even know who it is, but I feel like we had a lot of fun with Alexis Tay. Oh, she was great. Yeah. yeah she was awesome. Yeah. Um, is that who you were thinking? No. Oh. But she was great. Yeah. I'm trying to think. You know what? I saw a lot of BTS with Holly Day. Well, I didn't actually bang her in that episode. She got banged by Thugger, Thugger and what's his name, James. They, they. Uh... No, that wasn't her episode. She was just Thugger. One. Oh, one guy. Okay. One. Guy. Yeah. one, oh, one all right, that was somebody else. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that was. Uh, yeah, we were experiencing a little bit of a, a problem down below at the moment. What was it? Uh, an STD. Have, uh, have you ever had one? <laughs> yeah, been there. Okay. So we had to call in a recruit to uh, handle uh But Holly we'd like Day to fuck Holly. Us. I really want to fuck Holly. But okay, that's the question is she told me she was going to get a BBL and fake boobs. Because it's like a sister thing, right? Vibe. But that's kind of weird. It's like, do you, do you want to get in there before the surgery or do you want to get in there afterwards? Mm -hmm. I mean, in a perfect world, I guess we could do before and after. But... No, I know. The yeah, first one after. I think is the cool thing. But you also want to let the BBL and everything settle in for a little while first. Right. You, know? you, ever, you ever bang a girl who just like got brand new fake boobs and you're kind of like, they, ow, look, they look ow. so good, but like, <laughs> they're, they're, they're touch bandaged them. up and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully she's not fucking when they're still bandaged up, but yeah. Oh. Okay, so who, who is the favorite, Plug Talk favorite recently? Well, I, I just always think of Kelly K. I think it came too fast with her. Oh, yeah, I think so, too. Adam doesn't like to tell me his favorites. Like, when he's out of town, he'll go and he'll watch Plug Talks, and he won't tell me which ones he watches. Yeah. Oh. But the other day... Is that what you guys... He... Okay, I'm going to tell a story that, that nobody knows. Moment, yeah. <laughs> so, Adam never tells me, like, which girls he thinks are the hottest. And the other day, he was trending on Pornhub during the whole Jason thing. So, I told him, like, you're trending, and I'm not trending. He goes to screenshot it and posts it to Instagram, and it shows his recent search on Pornhub, and it was true Kate. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. So now I know. And he's not, he hasn't fucked her. So. Oh, you guys, she hasn't done plug talk? No, she, she hasn't done plug talk. She, she, she did, did, but, but with her, her ex. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't Does know she not know this yet either? She doesn't know, yeah. So, true Kate. Yes. <laughs> I, I was happy. High, yeah. I was happy when it was true Kate because I was like, okay, like she's a brunette. She's like short like and me. And you like her too. I so, like her yeah. a lot too. It's like if it was like a girl who was like 10 feet tall and had blonde, long hair, I'd be like, well, she looks like, we're, you know, we're so dissimilar. Yeah. And if it was a chick who was like super rail thin, yeah, like she I'd be would offended. probably be kind of annoyed because she got the big old booty and everything. So I feel like the fact that it was a girl that you think is really hot and you like her as a person was probably good. True Kate, we do have her on the schedule. We're supposed to shoot with her. Yeah, we get to fuck her soon. Yeah. She's on the schedule. Yeah. yeah. You know what? She does look like the least porn porn girl. Right? Yeah. Yeah. She and looks she's like so she, soft spoken. She looks and like delicate. a hot IG girl. She had other Not options. Not that I think she's hot, but other people would, baby. Yeah. <laughs> she, she looks like she had other options, which is, you know, that's, that's kind of hot, right? Yeah. But she chose to do this. Yeah. 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 She, was, she could have done a fitness Instagram girl. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She cool. could be hanging out with Bradley Martin. Yeah. You could be bench pressing her. Right. <laughs> Okay, now we'll do uh, fan questions. Uh, not gonna lie, we we cleaned them up. You know, we we found some decent ones. Okay. The first one, I don't know if you want to answer it, so you don't have to, because it's a, it could be controversial. Bree Stern. Okay. So. In the mic, baby. Okay. <laughs> Wait. This? Yeah. No, no, I airdropped them. No, not that one. <laughs> okay. That was the one I said. We do not do that one. Do you want to hear it? Speaking of 10 feet tall blonde women, I'm like, yeah, I, know. I described her. <laughs> She's so tall. Long, long hair. Okay. Okay. So you guys kind of talked about this, but what do you, each of you consider cheating in your marriage? Um, I would say any amount of like emotional interest or like for someone like if you send memes with a girl fuck no yes. i'm pissed yeah. you yeah. guys are like sharing a really like yeah like, like bonding starting a show over together. something yeah like yeah. Starting yeah. Yellowstone. Show together. that no, would be hard to that's hide crazy. <laughs> yeah. that's like the ultimate cheating yeah because right? yeah, i i mean honestly like if i were to catch her like e even if she didn't fuck him or whatever but if she had some guy that she was like talking to a lot and they had like some degree of intimacy in yeah. the conversation that would probably hit me just about as hard as if you actually fucked him you know like and yeah. i feel like you probably feel the same way like i mean to me it's just that emotional connection matters more and i don't think of like what she did the other day we were joking about it before but i don't think of that as like cheating no. yeah. in the in the slightest you know to me that doesn't even scratch the surface that was like work you know yes and if she enjoyed it that's incidental right because <laughs> you do with your 250 girls see yeah, yeah. Exactly. okay would you guys ever do a scene with a fully passing trans woman that would go viral. You don't have to answer that. 
it would depend on the trans person, I guess. But for the most part, I'm gonna probably stay cis until the end of my life. That's just kind of where I'm at. I feel like that futuristic fake penis technology <laughs> stuff is just, it's kind of outside my wheelhouse. I'm a traditional guy. Uh, I'm super down with the gays, down with the trans people, but I don't, I don't know if I really want to cross that bridge. I'm not well interested said. in doing it, but I feel like there is a version of a situation that I would be into. I just would feel so like not certain of what I'm supposed to say mm. in during the scene. And like, I feel like I'd be so worried about fucking something up. I don't know. Yeah, don't don't use any homophobic language. It's scary. <laughs> you guys haven't done any trance on on Plug Talk. Emma Rose, I thought I saw once. I interviewed she, her. He, okay, that's yeah. cool. shit with her. Yeah. Okay. No, she's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And Noah Bo says, "Why you guys go with a BBC instead of another dude?" Well, that's interesting because we again are idiots, and we didn't really think about the fact that the black thing would matter so much. The like, most matter ever. Yeah, like when we had our little pool of guys that we were picking from, like you know, some some were black and some were not, yeah. and we weren't really thinking about it like that. And then once it happened, it became like, oh, like the fact that he's a giant black dude is a the huge the part of this. Yeah. The best play. Which we didn't really yeah, like, didn't expect think about that it. to be such a thing. Okay, so you just said, here's a guy who's been doing it forever. He's respected. I mean, there's just so few guys in the industry that we know. And like, I, I actually knew Jason in person and had met him and like, was like, okay, he seems like a cool guy. Adam knew him and he has a big social following. So yeah. it was really kind of based on that. I to feel be like I'm way more tapped into the black experience now because my DMs have been so full of racism over the past. You like, know, yo, crazy. like, I don't know if anyone's ever like hit me with the hard R so many times in the DMs, <laughs> yeah. like over and over and over and uh that but that was not like it that didn't matter to me like if it had been a black dude or a white guy i don't give a shit but even like in me talking to black guys i realized that like they think that the black part is way crazier than it, if yeah. it had been another That's white crazy. guy which i don't know i've just been kind of shocked by it on many different levels yeah okay Wow, per you guys have been PR prepped. No. Good answers. We, no, I have, no like, I have never been media trained, for the record. They would tell me not to say things that I have probably already said here, yeah. Oh, thank you, baby. No, we're just that woke, yeah. No, you very much so. Okay, let's talk about the financials. Oh my God, I knew you were gonna, the only person to text me, what are the numbers at right now? Ryan Palinol. I'm like, this motherfucker just did that in the middle of the day of the drop. I'm like, damn, okay. And your response. My was, response was, was incredible. Probably best selling. She said, if I had to guess the highest no, highest selling video of all time. I think we can confirm that There's now, a, right? They're the boys from Sim Party. What's Hi up, guys. Brett How are you doing? Hello. Hello. Welcome, Hi. Boys. Welcome, welcome. We're just talking about their legendary uh, most famous sex tape in the world since Kim Kardashian. <laughs> yeah. So the, the the money, it's been good. It's been very good. Yes. How yes. good? I don't. Uh, I I could answer that for you. Is that we had a number in mind that I remember she said to me. I think it might make X amount of dollars, and I could say confidently that we're probably at like fifty times that now. So there was like a number that she would have been happy with. And that I thought was impressive. Yeah. And now we're just so far past that. So that 100K, 5 mil. I mean, if that that's sounds, where you want to go with that's it. That's where I want to go with it. We're not confirming any numbers. Okay. So, mm -hmm. and, and let me ask you this. This is okay to answer. The breakdown. Were you, are you getting, are you in? Um, are you in the pie? We're, we're participating in all kinds of different ways, but, you know. So. <laughs> I'm not like taxing her OnlyFans, but you know we both have done very, very Plot well. Plotalk has of this. benefited, and so has No Jumper. Right. Yeah. So of course. I feel like we've both benefited. Yes. I've definitely made quite a few six-figure sums that just I was from, not expecting. Just from just from the sheer level of attention that yeah. it's yeah. been getting in general. Honestly, yeah. so Plug Talk's going crazy. That page, right? Plug Talk easily doubled, and uh, we wow. have some crazy new stuff coming soon too that hopefully can help cap capitalize on all this. Yeah. But is he, he's getting a slice of your pie too? No, it's mine. No, yeah, I'm not. Oh, trying what? To, yeah. Okay, because I talked to him this week and he said he's made uh, between eighty and hundred. Oh, you're not Jason. Yeah, Jason. Oh, oh so it's, we did like a content trade thing. So okay, so he so gets to sell. He it. can sell the scene as but he well. He hasn't posted it yet. I told him that I want to post it for the first week. He told you they made eighty to hundred grand. That's very. He specific. did it. He did it. I saw him on his live. He said that he was making like twelve or thirteen k a day. Wow. I mean, because he got yeah. a lot, taught a ton of followers. So, so. so that's just from re, you know, whatever the word. I is. don't know. Good for him. But yeah. Okay. It's been okay. Good. But you, he's not eating your pie. No, it's fine. Well. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. So, hey, good fucking clause in the contract that you get a week before him, though. Good you know, clause. He was like, it's your first that scene with, with someone else. And that, that was, was my fucking idea. <laughs> Why are you giving all of my ideas his credit? And the other major thing that I think was like, absolutely brilliant is just the fact that she teased it for like two weeks before she dropped it like i didn't ever i would have never thought of that and that kept it in the news for so much longer like i was there's this dude jamari that i uh watch on youtube who's made like four or five videos about this situation because he's a cloud chaser and uh he he said the other day he said like the 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 sub the sub thing the 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 sub the the titanic thing yeah that was like the number one news story for like a week but this has been kind of like the number one news story for like a month, yes. which would not have been the case if you didn't tease it for those two weeks. You know? Was that was that Adam's idea too? No, I'm that was kidding. my fucking idea. Yeah, yeah, no, no, she's she's very very smart on her own. Yeah, you can't just put it all on me. Yeah. Okay. So the question I, I see everyone's asking you guys, but you haven't really given a firm answer. Is uh-huh. the the now from here? Where we're, we go? Is we're it, figuring it out. Yeah, yeah that honest. must be like the family dinner discussion. It's been a series of discussions because definitely like, you know, we have stuff that we want to do. Like we definitely want to do a plug talk scene. That's like me, her and another guy. But in terms of like the frequency with which she might be shooting with other guys, that's kind of up in the air. Cause it's sort of weird. Like when you make this many dollars off your first scene and you kind of know that like from there, there's gonna like the other scenes, like if she were to do more scenes, those would sell extremely well too. But like the law of diminishing returns is going to kick in and like, I don't know. It's just like, how do we really want to play it from here? We're still and we don't want to do anything combo. like too fast because it's like still new for us, yeah. this part of our relationship, you know? Yeah. So it's like we're just having a lot of conversations every step of the way. Um, and it's all up to Adam's comfort levels. Well, yeah, <laughs> it is weird because it's like, OK, if we were like a bullshit couple that didn't care about staying together, then this would all be a lot easier. Right. But like we actually are married and actually have kids and fact. actually are very, very concerned with the sanctity of our relationship as much as a lot of people probably think that that makes no sense since she did a scene with another guy, you know? So to us, it's like, you know, we just want to take things in a, in a way that like nothing happens that we don't feel comfortable with or whatever, you know? Yeah. You know, I'm surprised that like women activists aren't going out and saying, bro, this guy smashes every week, a new girl. I she mean, does it once. What, who cares? A little bit of that. I don't know if I'm. Sim- seen that much. Am I the most sympathetic figure? I'm not sure they really want to like stand up for me, right? Yeah, the only people that are like pro me doing this in the comments are like some women, and and if you go to their profile, they usually have an OnlyFans link. Like, most women are telling me I, I'm a fucking whore who, who ruined my relationship. Riley Reed going so hard for us, freaking out on people on Twitter and stuff has been kind of cool to see. But this has been the first time in my life that we've really drawn the attention of like the conservatives, who you know, ideologically, I probably agree with them on a lot of stuff, but they've really decided to take aim at us so over that, this. Is that the main group, the main hater group? No, no, I would say that almost every walk of life has been <laughs> hating on it. But, uh, the, the conservatives, it's been kind of surprising. Like, oh, okay, you guys are really enraged about this. Because yeah. they care about marriage so much. So to them, that's like the big thing. And who's been a celebrity that's targeted you so hard? Because Andrew Tate, by the way, legendary, uh, he he wasn't bad. He was nice. Yeah. Respectful. yeah, he got titled like Andrew Tate goes off on Adam yeah. Twenty Two and Lena, which I might have started. I think on the No Jumper page they titled it <laughs> like that. But you know, yeah, there's been a lot of people reaching out and stuff. A lot of a lot of like real famous like rappers and stuff kind of coming in my DMs and just telling me I'm a genius, Mine which too. has been kind of cool. Yeah, she got a couple of DMs from. I have rappers. a lot of DMs. Okay. I just not opened. Please, yeah. no, no, no. Come There's on. like a lot of athletes and we like and to name names on the show. Yeah. It's a very safe place. She's very moral. Like she, she like there was one person who dm'd her that i was kind of like you know if i say that that person dm'd you on camera then that will be a whole nother couple days of crazy viral attention and she just thinks it's wrong to expose people for that which i agree with it doesn't I, lay on like oh my god someone so dm'd me you guys <laughs> like i don't know we're just, talking like names oh yeah no, well I, I tell him i'm like look at i'm talking to this person. like like kanye west status like shit like B- that big big yeah oh, oh well you the one that you guys called out antonio brown yeah that was a good one yeah you went she, in on him i don't think you really knew who he was you no <laughs> you said it to me i was like I don't that know has been is. a weird realization in all of this is that i can just kind of say whatever i want like people are asking me like do you would you fight antonio brown i'm like yeah sure they're like you think you'd beat him up yeah I'm like, <laughs> like none of this is gonna happen so i can just say it like it's like which previously before this crazy viral circus i might have just answered that question honestly or accurately and instead like, i'm just rolling with it yeah I'll fuck him the- up yeah i don't care sure <laughs> Yeah, but I don't know. I mean, I guess he just wanted to 
hop on the wave, but he's, I don't know what the hell's wrong with him. He's like his team reached out to my team right after that and said like, Oh, Antonio wants to come on no jumper, do an interview. My team says, okay, let's do it. Boom. Like I have my guys start researching and getting some questions ready and everything like that. And then they're like, he wants $5,000. Oh I'm, I'm not giving you $5,000 for tweeting about wanting to fuck my wife. You fucking asshole. <laughs> so, uh, I turned that down and maybe it'll happen. I don't know. What? Fuck, he needs money, that guy, eh? Apparently. He needs a tape. Honestly, let him do it. He I looked it money. up. He said he's worth $20 million on Google. So, yeah. You know. But we all know that the, you all know those what stats are inaccurate. In the NFL. They CTE, all go broke. Yeah. And CTE. I blame CTE <laughs> for that tweet. Yeah. <laughs> so who would you maybe uh, do the plug talk double dude? We are, I feel like we want to have auditions. Yeah, but we're... Sick! A lot of people don't seem to <laughs> grasp that, that we are only <laughs> interested in communicating with... Uh, professional trained adult stars not like some guy who just had a, a hot song or whatever who wants to right. like use this as a little viral hook you know yes yes yeah because like that, a john eason's someone like him yes yeah yeah, yeah probably because i've seen dudes come on the show and i always kind of skip those episodes i assumed there were two dudes what like when spencer's been on the show or uh thugger Oh, oh yeah, no, yeah, no, no. It's yeah. not well it's not we've so had one episode just with two guess guys. Dick on those episodes? We've had to do that sometimes. People don't like expect that sometimes it can be difficult to have a new sex scene with us going on every week. And then also like even stuff like couples, like that to yeah. us is just fun. Like we just wanna, you know, watch a, a couple bang. We go on with the couch, like the girls' yeah. comfort level too. So if a girl's like, I only want to shoot with this person or whatever, then it's like, all right, that's who we're having oh, on so the show. Sometimes this week. you don't even jump in. Yeah. 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 Sometimes oh, just we, we like... just do the interview part sometimes. Yeah. Oh. Or we yeah. had two super hot chicks on the show the other day that like one of them's in a relationship or I guess they're both kind of in relationships. So it's like I, I wasn't in it. She did girl girl scenes with them, which to me is kind of a betrayal of the original concept, but you know, we, we, we made people with, yeah. where they're that at, you know? Betrayal. Yeah. But it's like, Oh, super hot chick. That's like really, really popping. And she's going to be posting us and tagging us and stuff. It's like, we got to find a way to work with them as well. You know, it's the best. Hey, do you know when I discovered you guys? And also, cause I'm Canadian, I'm from Toronto and the uh, rest of Canada discovered you guys. Do you know what I'm talking about? Chromaz. Fact. Oh my God. That Legends. was the biggest thing since Drake. <laughs> when you guys did the titty fuck with Chromaz. <laughs> Uh, I did. I, I like. I'm not in that world, so I didn't really know anything about her. But Adam was like, "Yes, this is big. It's you huge." Know? And I just show up and we do it. And I'm like, mm. "We were supposed to be managing her too." And then I feel like she did that titty fucking scene, and it scared the shit out of her because she got so much hate from people. So that it's kinda... still all, it all, it's her main comments. Though. Yeah, but she's yeah. she hasn't really? done oh, yeah. she hasn't oh done God. anything like that since. And... No, she's never done anything sexual. She'll just kind of show a nip. Yeah, it's funny because she was supposed to have academics managing her music career and then that didn't work and then she was supposed to have us managing her adult career and then that didn't work but she didn't really want an adult to cook an adult career she wanted to do like all these things she around wants to be a rapper yeah, yeah, yeah that's one girl that i do see on instagram and just think god she is too hot what the fuck yeah is that offensive? She, no, I, I look at her page and i'm like it looks like you do porn but you don't yeah you just do fucking porn it's yeah. a crime did you see what happened to her at Rolling Loud, uh, mm -hmm. Toronto? Oh, she got oh. booed? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. That'll happen. I was there. Good show. You were booing. Were you me? Oh, I was supporting. <laughs> but she is one of my most watched episodes ever because Canada follows that girl. Okay. And when you guys did that, it was the biggest thing in our country. That was the Lena Jason tape of you Canada. Wow. You know, I actually got a DM from Justin Trudeau about that. Actually? Yeah. He said he beat off to it. You're serious? No. But... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, academics. Right. You and him, friends, not friends? Uh, it's hard to tell sometimes. Yeah, we're, we're cool. I didn't watch any of his commentary about the sex tape. I heard it, yeah, I heard he it was, was pretty negative. intense. Was it? I heard it was pretty positive. He was like comedic, but then he would go into his preachy like, you guys, we don't do this. This yeah. is not okay. But I mean, like, that's right. kind of like, you know, you he know, doesn't agree with brothers, it. brothers, we never let our, he was doing that. I feel yeah. like everybody that is in the media space, I've kind of just given them a pass to say whatever they want about it because I know it's so controversial Fair. that it would be kind of impossible for me to be like, like, oh, like we're supposed to be boys, and you made a joke <laughs> of how my wife taking dig from this gigantic black dude. It's just like, like that's an absurd standard for me to Good hold to people to. And also, like I'm friends with all these conservative red pill people, and obviously they all got their own opinions about it and everything. Like even Myron from Fresh and Fit hit me up, and he was like, "Hey, 
everybody's trying to get me to talk about this. I just want you to know I'm not going to talk about it. And I was kind of like, bro, just talk about it. Like, just yeah. say whatever the fuck you want to say about it. Like, I'm not going to hold That's it against you. Yeah. The only what? people that were accepting of it were people in the porn world who were like, finally, this is happening. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and all the people I know who come from like pimping and shit are very accepting about it as well. Because one thing I have learned is that a real pimp pimps his bottom bitch. So I, I guess I'm a real pimp. I don't like this version of the of the narrative. This is not okay. I like that. Bottom bitch. Yeah. You know what though? I assumed you guys were kind of swingers. Tell me, tell me this. She's fucked another guy at some point in your relationship. Not no. really in our relationship. Never. Never. Seven years. No. I never even texted another guy back. Like yeah. you guys don't understand. I'm I've been Swear like squeaky clean loyal this whole fucking time. I thought you guys would go to those LA fucking you know, Michael kinda, Bay parties. We're kind of open to that kind of thing. And I think that's where this conversation first started yeah. was like, oh, could you see us swinging? Like, would we do it on camera? Would we do it off camera? And then we were like, well, if you are going to like take dick from another dude, we should probably roll it out and premiere it in the best, most optimal way yeah. possible, yeah. which is like you doing a scene on your own. And in retrospect, I do think that I'm kind of crazy for not realizing how huge of a thing that would be because my porn star brain had kind of like normalized that. That sort of thing Fact. to the point where when it became such a big deal, I kind of didn't really know that was going to be the case, which, again, seems crazy in retrospect. Like we we forget we get desensitized. Yeah. We went to oh, visit yeah. my my sister and her and her husband and he's all you have an only fan. <laughs> you know? And she just doesn't ply nude. And, and yeah, he, he's oh, my God. Oh, it's I, like the dirtiest word ever. The kids know. <laughs> yeah. Don't yeah. Oh my like, god! Because she does implied on all, you know, we forget that people are like that. Yeah, Holy totally. Yeah. That's intense. Oh, I'm so dirty. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Wow. I'd be so fucking pissed. Yeah. Oh, man. And then, uh, Ryan, can you cover up? We've taught them that tattoos are bad. You know, we forget. Yeah. We forget. Wow. So wow. for this is like a crazy thing to people, and yeah. you you forget. Yeah, we don't have That's anybody true. that, we live in that a intense around us. I don't think. Yeah. No, I mean, we love all LA. of our families just don't mention it because I think it's just too awkward. Oh, they, yeah. They just don't say anything. No about one's it. asked about family. Yeah. Mom and dads haven't talked about it. Haven't talked about it. Yeah. No, we it's don't just communicate like, about that kind of stuff. But there's they see it. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe once in a while, but I don't think like there. It's been on. You've been on like regular ass like Oprah type news channels. Yeah. It hasn't just been no jumper. It's been the, like the, the closest I ever came to telling my mom all about it was that I was we went on Andrew Schultz's podcast and I had this idea that I told Andrew I'm like what if I bring my mom on the show and you tell her about the porn stuff and you ask her a bunch <laughs> of questions and I was going to do this and then my sister basically like caught wind of the plan and she basically told my mom like hey just so you know if you go on this thing they're going to bring up all of Adam's porn shit or whatever and my mom like called me and was like just so you know i'm not going on i'm not like she was mad as fuck yeah. at the idea that she would even have to discuss it on the show so that's the closest that we ever came to yeah we just don't real... talk about it they're nice they yeah. just leave it alone okay and uh baby girl baby three almost so are you going to allow her to take over the plug talk throne vibes maybe as a host Hopefully she never finds out what it is. Yeah. <laughs> We're working on a plan to. You know what? I've talked to a it. lot of people in the industry and they say, if I change my name to my kid and to the world, it's not on Google. Yeah. It's kind of weird being like celebrities because, yeah. but now I think this kind of made us realize that we have to approach the parenthood thing different, which is like, we're probably never going to post but our kid again. You know what though? In 20 years, everyone's parents are porn stars. So who cares? Yeah. But you don't really want to like put your bullshit on your kid like that. And I feel like if we just never post her again, then her odds of having like a normal life are probably a lot higher. So I think the whole time period of our career where we we're posting our kid all the time is probably over after all this stuff. Yo, fucked, right? We just, we just got too much negative attention that it's like, we don't care, but I don't want to like put my kid through that. So yeah. on baby number two and three, the world might get like a photo at some point, but not like consistent. Like the whole time that we were on the honeymoon, we we're posting our kid 10 times a day, just every single cute thing that was going on and nobody gave a shit. And then all of a sudden, one BBC later, it's like th <laughs> there's a big chunk of the internet that would swear that we're the worst parents on earth, which is so not the case. But obviously, you're never going to be able to convince the world of that. So I think that 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 chapter of our life might be closed. The basic mm -hmm. world. 
The weird, yeah. the weird basic world. Yeah. So out of 22 in Lena, how's sex at home? It's been better, honestly. Yeah, I mean, we were going More so frequent. strong for like a couple weeks there, but then I got sick on Tuesday for like 24 hours. I was super sick, and then she got her period right after that, and those two things uh, kind of have us, like, we've had a bad week. We don't really like rate our weeks. It's not even a week. It's that happens to us. I took Adderall all week, catching up, and you know, you, I can't get, you, you take Adderall? No. You, your dick doesn't work on it. Really? Yeah. 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 And I've been a fucking... Don't you hate when he takes it? What the fuck? I'd be pissed. I, I don't like yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to take drugs that make me get more boners. If anything, yeah. <laughs> I always hear people talking about fucking off a perk, and that makes me think like maybe I should get some of those. We gotta try. <laughs> but my favorite Kids. clip of all this, I've seen them all. Trust me. And the best one was when you were on, and you said you get erections every time we talk about it, and are set. We've been fucking more now than ever. Yeah, I mean we we fucked like when I came home from the scene with Jason, and then probably like multiple days in a row multiple times in a day and then once i had the trailer we were like fucking and watching the trailer wait whoa 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 fucking while watching the trailer yeah, holding the iphone while you're banging yeah. on a spoon have you swear to god yeah, yeah. you guys did that yeah, yeah a couple times yeah. yeah so you fucked her while watching the scene i mean the watching of the scene might really realistically only last like a minute or two before you just kind of get so into it they just keep going but yeah we but i think it, it, like, it gave us like a, a new fire yeah. yo i yeah. get that she can vouch she takes like, you know, almost naked OnlyFans sets, and I just think about all the guys paying to jerk off to it. Do and I it not turns get, you on? I get it. Like, it's like, oh, I took Adderall, I can't get pregnant, and then he's like, he's and he's like, oh my god, I get so hard. I'm like, what? Yeah, because <laughs> yo, I get it, I get it. It's fucking hot, man. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind. I mean, yeah, like, uh, there's a precedent for that with me too, because there was this girl that I dated, like, dated for like, you know, a few months before her, and she was a porn star, and I never watched her scenes, and then one night. We did some very serious drugs together and we ended up hooking up watching her like entire porn catalog for like 12 <laughs> hours. And, uh, you know, so I guess this is like something that I was already kind of comfortable with. I just never pictured myself doing it with my wife. But, you know, <laughs> what's good for the goose? Yeah. I was turned on knowing that he was turned on watching it. Yeah. It made me more into it. You okay with hearing him talking about exes? You guys don't oh, get I mean, mad at anything. It's been seven years. I I know all about the ex. I know her fucking name. Like I know everything about her at this I point. Tried to, I mean, I tried like... to get a, a threesome going with her and you the second time we ever hung out. Oh yeah, my God. you were. That was always your mo in the beginning. Mm. He'd be, he would text me. He'd be like, "Oh, this girl thinks you're so hot. She really <laughs> wants to fuck you." And then he texts the other girl the same thing, <laughs> try, and like not tell us. Oh my God! Yeah. I thought it was and such I, a good idea. But and then it, I'd go and I'd be like, "This girl doesn't fucking follow me. Why are you lying?" Yeah, but it doesn't. Like, it doesn't work if the girls are gonna actually start communicating. Like if they if they communicate on a very basic level, then they're not gonna tell each other about what I told each one about it. But, that's good. He yeah. thought he was slick, but it, it didn't really it seemed work. Like a good point. So for threesomes who makes the pick is it a, a team thing or how does that we work? have like a group chat and he'll like send a girl or i'll send a girl and we'll have to like both give like the thumbs up you know but we have like our employees in there too so it's, kind of, it's not like <laughs> it's some not like sexy private, you sexy thing you know it's like we're having the conversation and with... then you guys side chat like fuck you not that girl no no because no. sometimes it'll be like that girl doesn't shoot boy girl or that girl has a boyfriend like you know it's, it's so it, in the beginning of our relationship when we were having more threesomes off camera i was much more inclined to want to do the threesome when i picked the girl but if he'd be like, oh, this girl hit me up, she wants to have a threesome, then I'd be like, hmm, she hit you up, she wants to have a threesome? <laughs> All right. Yo, but, but, I now, feel that. You but now I DM girls and say, hey, do you want to come on Plug Talk? Like if I assume that she would be down, you know, so and she doesn't mind that I'm instituting it because it just feels like business now. You know, it's not like me just being horny as fuck and really wanting to hang Adam, out with Adam, you this keep girl. sending True Kate. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to see this and be like, oh, my God. I waited for her to line that up. And you want to know what's fucked up? As I said the other day, I was like, you know, actually, one time I was listening to Ryan interview True Kate. And she goes, I bet you were. I'm like, God damn it. I should have made that up. I should have sent somebody but else. But like, I don't care. Like, there's, I can't even think of, like, any girl that I would really care that you were watching on Pornhub or something. You know, like, I just wouldn't Honestly, care. the ex. The ex. No, not even. No. Who is the ex? She's washed. You want to know her? Yeah. No offense to her, but yeah, I can't like unless there was like a girl who like talks shit about me or something, and I found out you were watching all her porn. I'd be like, babe, this is our op. You can't be fucking watching her. You but know. Sometimes you do want to beat off to girls that you know are horrible people because it just, I don't know, something about a dick in the ass of a bad person is just kind of hot, right? I don't know. I mean, she's liking it, right? 
It's not like a punishment. I don't know. Yeah, no, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Adam always lets out his weird things, and I'm like, no, oh, yeah. I don't want to know this Adam about you. For the for the boys. No, but do you, do you like okay. Yeah. I'll put it this way. One time, that same girl I was talking about, when we stopped seeing each other, and I was kind of like mad at her because she had basically like fucked my friend and stuff like that, and I was kind of pissed off about it. You go on Pornhub and you watch their cum shot compilation, and that can really get you over the hump of being a little angry at them to right. see them humiliated yes. on the internet. You yeah. Know? yeah. Well, you know, I was. Uh, I was Is it cum shot humiliation? Well, when there's like 40 in a row, I don't know. It feels kind of humiliating. I was talking to a girl in the industry this week, and she said, I'm doing a six guy orgy for Blocked. Mm. And I said, who is the target market, by the way, to, to buy that? I, I, I've never bought that, and I don't know anyone who has. Six guys, big black dicks. W who buys that? And they, they said, oh, apparently, they asked the black people, and it's guys that are like, they got cheated on, or they're like upset with women. Okay. And it's like that. It's like, fuck women, bro. Like. All you big black dicks, just fuck this girl up. I think I speak for both of us when I say that I would, if I was scrolling through Pornhub, I probably would click on the uh, the six guys banging a girl okay. thing. Yeah, I like watching gangbangs. Yeah. And they said girls. Yeah, I like it. For some reason. Because I think it's like you're watching something that you'll know you're, you'll probably never do, but it's like interesting. They're like, I don't know. Something about seeing a girl being overwhelmed. <laughs> yeah, it, is, it does look very overwhelming. Yeah, something about that. Valerica did a 12 guy one the other day though and I feel like that's kind of like a little too much for me. I don't know if I want to see You loved it. Don't 12 lie. guys. I think it's it's kind of it's like a naked hip hop cipher at that point. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've heard stories about these dudes where they start fighting and shit and gangbanging on each other and yeah, stuff. Right? Yeah. Ironically gangbanging <sighs> on each other, yeah. Have you been on the set of a gangbang? No, never a gangbang. Okay. Never gangbang. I've uh, really been on a two guy one girl set. How was she, that for you? Yeah, she, well, she told me that she wants me to participate in a gangbang while she hangs out and watches. Yeah. Oh, whoa. I don't Because I would love to see Adam navigate all of those dicks around him because I feel like there'd be a big part of him be like, whoa, don't accidentally like trip and fall into someone else's dick. I was a BMX dude for like 20 years, so I'm, I'm used to being around some cocks, you know? Wow. Yeah. You know what? You should do a, a payback of... Five girls and Adam, something like that. Yeah, because well, I, we've done this a million times. Well, we've we talked had, about how many have you done girls? <laughs> we've we've had like a lot of orgies with, with a bunch of girls before. Have yeah. you? Well, yeah. but but off that's, camera. That's the camera. thing is that no matter how hot the girl was, it's not like anyone would be like, "Oh, Adam did a scene with Savannah Bond. That's his get back for Linda doing the scene with yeah, Jason." No, no one fucking cares. That's like we fucked know. Savannah like three times already. Yeah, so that would be extra anticlimactic. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I, I, I it's think a gift to me. I gave you so many threesomes already. Yeah, that's how I see it. Yeah. yeah. But the the only maybe like a like a sibling. Like Lena's like sister. No. I think wow. that's we've been hanging out with her the past couple of days and yeah, I can't, I can't see it. I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a line. She's married. Can't she got that's a couple a, kids. But I see it the way you did. Bros fucked a million girls. Yeah. And you guys have off camera threesomes too or no? We did a long time ago. We haven't it's been recently, but, but it would be fun to. If we were going to, at the bare minimum, I would be like, okay, well, we should probably set the camera up and, and film it, right? No, our last off-camera threesome was with Emily Willis after uh, we went to see the that Logan Paul fight. And we came home yeah, together no. and we got And you fucked. just did it off-camera? Yeah, it was for fun. That's cool. She she hit a squat in the middle of the boxing match and just took a piss like in the stands. Wow. And then they escorted her out and they let her come back. <laughs> like watching on the cameras they like, come down like 10 and minutes later. And you guys later. were like, her. I was like, I cannot believe she that's our prey. That was dope. Yeah. <laughs> I love when you catch the girls like like her. She's huge. She got a boyfriend, I'm pretty sure. But like we caught her right there at a moment where she was still down to take a piss during a boxing match and then come back to the house and eat my ass. <laughs> I like that. That's a good Adam loves any girl who that, will eat, eat his ass. Because he yeah. knows it's a You know, I've been trying to get sight. that was supposed to be my birthday gift in Miami this year. What the it, fuck? She fell asleep. But uh, she's a pillow princess. She's not doing it right. <laughs> it is scary. The first time it happened, Adam just like kept scooting his butt closer to my face. And I was like, wait, what you the go fuck like this? is he doing here? No. Yeah, I don't even like it that much. I just like you the idea lying. of it. You end up with a really great story every time. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It's like she ate my ass. Yeah. I, it's not like it feels so amazing that I just want it to keep happening. But it's kind of like lower your voice. You ate my ass. Yeah. It's kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Do you still give Adam like start to finish blowjobs for no reason? If uh, my vagina is not working for some reason, yeah. Yeah, I got some top a couple weeks ago. That was great. Like just a full on like you, it was your idea and you just did it like start to finish. Like Maybe it wasn't totally my idea, but I'll do it. I'll okay. almost never say no. 
Because that's yeah. a in marriages, that's that's the one thing you lose. They say. No, no. I, I like if I say no, I'll feel really guilty and come back and be like, all right, come here. Let's go. But I'm also the type of guy that I, I want some head, but I definitely would way rather have intercourse. The pussy just feels way too good. The mouth is good, but the pussy is just I, I, when guys like when rappers say like, oh, I just want neck. I don't want to fuck. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You're missing out on the whole point. I agree. Yeah, I agree. We're, we're sex guys. Sex guys. Yeah. <laughs> sex havers. That's the merch I want to make. Sex havers. <laughs> yeah. When you guys do have sex, though, is it kind of like three positions, five minutes? Or is it like you guys go like crazy? It I would depends. say there's like three positions. It's usually doggy, spoon, missionary. Those are like a combo. Yeah. And Sometimes. is it morning or before bed? Or before like bed. When you're a parent, you don't really get to have morning sex anymore. I miss it. We used to do that all the time. Yeah. Oh, did you and her like at the eight month bubble? Did you? Oh, we were doing it up till the, the day of conception. No, yeah. you were. Well, because she told me that it was make it would make her more likely to have the baby on time. So yeah, we kept going. You're only doing spoon at that point. There's yeah. really no other position that makes any sense. Top. Would you say you had an extra inch or a lesser inch or why would my dick be a different size because she was pregnant? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think that yeah is the answer to that. Uh, no, but like the pussy does definitely hit different when they're pregnant. I don't know what it is, but it just feels different. You're poking the fetus. No. no. There's all kinds of like barriers and stuff in between that. Yeah, I think that's been debunked. Okay. Yeah. Good to Or at least I hope. Let's wrap it up soon. Let's finish with, we always finish with wild stories. Okay. So embarrassing shit that's happened during plug talk. Uh, funny, you know, girl pooped on you or like. She asked you to do like puke on her, you know, anything like like crazy. Mm, I feel like I told my my one funny one last time. Okay. Trying to think of something different. Well, we talk about poop a lot. Yeah, we don't do anal on the show. How, how come? It's just a lot, you know. It's just kind of, and I feel like that's kind of like a bonus tier that you can only see on Lena's OnlyFans. So we just do anal on yeah, there. Yeah, I try yeah. to keep it exclusive to my. Yeah. page but adam is definitely horny for more anal yeah i feel like i can get him to do almost anything for me if i promise him anal do you we, guys do off camera anal we oh, did yeah. it the other day for the first time in like i don't know nine months and it was just euphoric i felt so do you come good. in the yeah really and then she updates me throughout the next day about seeing it's it still, come out and it's still coming out <laughs> so those are the two things i've been i want the booty eaten and i want the pp and booty you you do you do anal i've never done it before okay you got to give her space it's it, been eight months now. That's space. You need to get her an anal you training need to kit. Do things to it. You can't just be like, all right, I never. She needs anything, foreplay. But... Lena, can you? Okay, coach start us? in spoon. Yeah. Okay. If you're gonna do anal spoon, yeah. I feel like is a good position to do it in. Okay. Make sure you're using a vibrator so that you can really relax and get super horny. But you also gotta like, like put a vibrator on on her clit. On herself, yeah, while you're okay. fucking her. Okay. And uh, but like, yeah, foreplay is really good. You know, you really want to make her super horny for it. And then you slide in. Apparently, uh, coconut oil is better than any. Yes. Oh, that's what we used last time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it was. Nice. It's good, but yeah, yeah you're gonna want to like finger it for a while it's just hard when you're the woman because you're like it feels good but am i gonna shit right now because it's that's the feeling okay. that you have when you have to poop so you you're just like, have to go real slow with it and a lot of people have sex like in a hurry which i feel like at, us being together for seven years that's something that we kind of realized is like if we really want to have great sex we should just slow it down i and, gotta learn this we should know? learn and with anal <laughs> slow is very important yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, <laughs> so our biggest issue in our relationship, go ahead, tell them. You've said it a million times, I'm sure you, you guys have seen this, but he, he comes so fast. Yeah. Oh, okay. A lot of guys have that problem, yeah. it's You know what it is? Myself it's, included sometimes. Yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. It's, it's love. Yeah. Straight up. It's my baby. Mm. But you got to jerk off before she comes home. A lot of times, if so I should just prep yeah. yourself, but then I'm not really mentally in the game. If oh. I think that me and her are gonna have sex at like you know 8 p.m., a lot of times I'll try to hit like a noon jerk off session. See, that makes sense, yeah, because yeah. I don't want to have like two days worth of cum saved up for because then you're you're fucked in four minutes, yeah, it's gonna happen too fast, yeah, yeah, mm. pull out, eat her out a little bit, yeah. take a break. You know, Adam takes a lot of breaks, and I don't actually care. Yeah, you know? like well, it extends it, the session. Yeah, because it's like if you're about to come too fast, you just got like, 
pull out chill and also that's the thing too is that like we don't always do it but like have sex a couple like ejaculate a couple of times during a session you know like don't be scared of that really yeah i'm a one and done guy you see i was like that for so long and then i had this one psycho bitch who would make me fuck her like six seven times every time she would come Ear over buffs. and i don't know it's just like it made me realize like oh like this girl's like forcing me to fuck her a bunch of times in one night like i can do this like i, I can actually do it you know we need to take like courses <laughs> make a textbook for us yeah. please okay and the last segment presented by mad labs the number one marijuana cannabis company in the world mm. 70 retail stores in california mm. it's called because i've got high because right. i got high. Oh, okay yeah so any story of uh something where one of you were high crazy story she doesn't smoke weed but there was a time uh very early in our relationship where i was willing to do all kinds of stupid stuff for no money and there was this, <laughs> this like music festival that was basically like we have a weed contest uh, test like where like all these different you know weed companies were basically competing for who has the best weed and they gave me a whole backpack full of like different weed products and i was supposed to like write down my thoughts about each one and judge them <laughs> so i went over to my friend's house who had a bong and we proceeded to take bong Long rips of like seven different types of weed oh my and then God. they had all these different weed candies and all these different weed sodas and we started just like legitimately trying to do this and like drinking all of the sodas and everything like that and then i got in my car like the drinking every, ones are fucked oh it was fucked and i every every like we got in my car like everything was normal i drove back to the house and as soon as i walked in the door i was just like oh my god and I, <laughs> I laid down and started like damn like just breathing so deep and she was outside my apartment and i had to like i couldn't go down and get her i had to throw my keys out her to the win out the yeah. window out of out from like the 12th story or <laughs> yeah. some shit yeah. like, Not and, uh, get me that she day. came up and she was like really worried and kind of thought that i needed to go to the hospital because i was breathing so deep now i realize this is an ad for weed so they probably don't want to <laughs> highlight no, no, that's me almost want. dying that, yeah no, but that's good that stands out to me as probably the worst experience yeah. i ever have. Adam smokes every day and I've seen no. his consumption level. He's like a one month break out of seven fucking years I've been with you. Okay? <laughs> like a six week break. Six and week, two weeks lately, longer than that month. I've been smoking like <laughs> maximum one spliff a day, which is a huge improvement. I was the guy when you met me, I was smoking seven to 10 blunts a day, probably. Think That's about crazy. how much less weed that is. I damn okay, near but quit. Every day is still every day. Anyways, it's not every day though. She is gaslighting you, Ryan. I'm going to go get the ring camera footage right now. Do it. I, I took, I took many, many days I will not smoke. And also, I have a weed pen. Shout out to Plug Play. They gave me this. It's not a paid endorsement, but I have this now. I'll hit it right now. Yeah. Fuck around and find out. Why Please. Not? And Lenny, you don't, you don't touch it. I used to smoke a little bit, but like I was always been such a lightweight. And then one time I licked some frosting off of a <laughs> weed edible cupcake and started puking at a party. Oh, and yeah, I was, was like, so I think good. weed That's is the it. strongest drug in the world. I've done every drug. I would rather do acid than fucking smoke weed. Weed is so fucking crazy strong. It's yeah. The last drug that should have been legalized. <laughs> yeah. Give us heroin. Keep the weed. Yeah. Mm. Fucking right. 2CB is way more chill than weed. Weed is fucking crazy. <laughs> it makes me You've crazy for sure. 2CB? The pink shit? Love it. Oh, really? Love it. She's going crazy. That's, crazy. That's how we met. On a 2CB bender on our first date. Yeah. Wow, I've read about it and stuff, but I never tried it. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, love it. That didn't really come out <laughs> until we quit like doing dog. drugs. Ketamine? Love it. Really? I never tried that really either. Sick. Wow. Sick. <laughs> shrooms? Yeah. yeah. Love shrooms. Kratom? I've tried it a few times, yeah, but I never really, I never really felt it, so I don't think I did it right. You got to OD on it. You got to do a lot. Huh? Drugs are bad, guys. Well, we get it at Seven Eleven. Wait, what? Here? Yeah, in LA. Really? Wow. Yeah, the little blue bottles you see on the left are called Feel Free. That's kratom. Okay. Wow. Okay. Please try it. Hmm. Yeah, before watching a movie or something. A movie. <laughs> yeah. It makes you yeah. feel. It's like okay, you know how people say you said earlier, take a perk in the cock. Remember, yeah. it's very similar to that. Okay. It's the same feeling. It's like if you take an opiate. It mimics, okay. tell them what it does. I don't know how to say it. It's um, an herb that mimics the effects of opioids on your brain. So it bi binds to your opioid receptors and causes the same euphoric, pain relief, warm, fuzzy feeling. So it's like very But it's from a plant, so it's legal. And yeah, you can get it at 7 Eleven. Okay. You ever smoke sherm? No. You gotta get on that. Yeah. Sherm? That's a good shit. Yeah. What What's that? that? It's like embalming fluid. Like what they put on a dead body. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it literally is that, though. 
You know what a low key good high is? The popper shit that gay dudes do. I did that one time. <laughs> you know, it's good. One time I snor I smelled that shit. Yeah. It's not bad. Yeah, I didn't really. It made me feel kind of weird, but I, I couldn't imagine doing like a lot of it. Yeah. Do you do it? I've before? never done it. No. Oh, before anal. Apparently, it's like. A oh secret. yeah, make sure butt dilate. That's what I've heard, but yeah, no, I don't. I don't. People Maybe I should so I can do more anal. The crib, yeah. Oh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> quick drug review, just like speed yeah. ramp. Should we cut that? We no, should. no. Okay. <laughs> you were very into it. <laughs> yeah, I love 2 CP. Yeah. Catch No Jumper, catch Plug Talk, OnlyFans at Plug Talk, Sim Party account coming soon uh, on Plug Talk. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. We need them. We love them. Adam22, Lena the Plug, Legends, we love them. Pillow Talk, see you next Tuesday. Let's go.